question. All right, to Grant here in Washington, D.C. You want to talk about trade. Right, thank you very much. I'm just curious, and this is directed at Martin Indyk, what would induce Arab countries to normalize trade relations with Israel when they can observe that when the U.S. negotiated the U.S.-Israel free trade agreement back in 84, when you were still at APAC, uh, and you'll remember APAC got a hold of the classified USTR report for that negotiation, negotiated a deal in which uh, it reversed the trading relationship to a $71 billion deficit to the U.S., it's about 100,000 jobs a year. It locked out uh, agricultural products from the U.S. Israel's become a huge problem in terms of commercializing patented uh, clinical dossiers from pharmaceutical companies and counterfeit drugs. It's used access to the U.S. market to build a diamond export market that uh, funds illegal settlements. I mean, if that's the way Israel treats its friends, why would Arab countries want to subject themselves to opening up to all of that? All right, and before you answer, uh, Martin, let me remind our listeners at seven minutes before the hour, you're listening to the Diane Rehm Show. Martin Indyk. Well, that's a highly uh, tendentious way of describing uh, uh, the free trade arrangements. I would simply point out uh, to the caller that... uh, Several Arab countries already have free trade agreements uh, with the United States, uh, Jordan, uh, Bahrain, Morocco. The Egyptians would love to have a free trade agreement uh, with the United States, and there are special arrangements made uh, in cooperation with Israel, these qualified industrial zones, which uh, the Egyptians uh, uh, are certainly benefiting from, uh, providing thousands of jobs for Egyptians as a result of a free trade relationship. And the fact is that the U.S.-Israel free trade agreement served as a wedge that opened up the the Congress to uh, free trade agreements uh, across the world, including uh, the NAFTA agreement. So so I think uh, no, no doubt there are some downsides to it, but overall it's been a very positive thing.